Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about Farah and Mercy again. The toxic duo that seems to be causing people a lot of problems. We did cover this recently, and I think Frito did a really good job in that video, but there's some things I wanted to highlight more. As I know, my console brothers and sisters, I've got you, okay? We're going to cover why Pharmacy is so OP, because I think it's a very, very important part of learning how to counter her, which I will also cover some more universal ways to counter Farah and Mercy and why this combo is so good. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is why it's so good. Because the actual raw damage values of Farah and Mercy, even combined, are less than the other DPS heroes in the game. Farah's raw damage per second is actually pretty bad. Now, the reason that Farah and Mercy is so good is two things. One is synergy. Synergy is the most important part of Overwatch. The team with the most synergy is going to win. Now, this can range from just Far and Mercy being the only two synergy picks on the team, or it could range to the whole team running a dive comp and wrecking things. Whoever has the most synergy on a team is going to win. Well, Far and Mercy is a very, very easy synergy pick. You can just put it on and get pretty much free kills. Mercy is the easiest support to play, and Far is the easiest DPS to play now it doesn't mean that they don't take any skill so don't don't get upset about that but it's fairly well known it's easy to hit rockets and it's not hard to fly up to fire and keep her alive so this instant synergy pick is the first part of what makes this strong is that it's actually two people playing together and it's quite simple and it's coupled with the fact that these are fairly easy heroes to play now another synergy pick that's better than this could be something like winston and genji but this is harder to run and it does also require more team follow up than far and mercy the final reason that this is so good right now is that people play slow in matchmaking people don't play together people go in one by one people don't have lucios or use their diva to negate the damage from the farah and she can just rain down free damage and that's why this is so good and i'm here to tell you guys that it really isn't that difficult to counter this are definitely nowhere near as difficult as people think it is. If I refer you to the gameplay on screen, I am doing exactly this. The enemy team are playing into me. They're coming out into the open slowly, taking bad engagements. They have no Lucio. They have double hit scan Zen, but I'm so far away that they can't do the damage. They don't have a D.Va to eat up the rockets. They don't have a Rhine Shield even to block the damage, and they walk into it, and this is where Farah is super, super strong. Yeah, Yes, it's easier to hit rockets as Farah than it is to do damage on a lot of other DPS, and in that way she's more reliable, but a raw DPS isn't the problem, it's the positioning that people take against her, and this is how you counter her, guys. The approach that you take is the way to counter her, not treating it as 1v1 duels or 2v1 duels. The picks that used to make Farah uncomfortable aren't necessarily the same ones anymore, and the way that you fight determines if you win or not. The last point I want to make here as well is the one argument people seem to try to make is that this Farah Mercy thing, you shouldn't have to take your whole team to just counter one pick. Well, that's actually Overwatch. That's the whole point. Someone will make a pick and you take a better pick or something that counters that pick in order to win a fight through your decision making and of course your skill as well. Now, why is it harder for people on console to deal with? Well, the reason is it's simply harder to aim on console and there's also less people with microphones so it's also harder to communicate. It doesn't matter that her raw damage is not that great. It's the fact that it's easy to put out on console in particular and and it's even harder to take it down. Someone picking Widow on PC, it's a lot easier to counter that Fire of Mercy than it is on console. The same goes for McCree and even Soldier. They're not super easy heroes to play. And I understand that. And that's something we didn't talk about in the other video. Now, we'll get whether they should balance it a little bit differently later on on console. But what I want to talk about now is universal ways to deal with this problem. Right now, at the pro scene, the most considered OP or ridiculous ability in the game is D.Va's Defense Matrix. And the reason for this is because it can block damage like all the time. You can negate all the damage in the world. If you take a D.Va on console or on PC, and this is why it's a universal way to deal with it, is that you can negate that Farah and Mercy's damage for a very huge portion of the game that you're playing in. And what you do is you win the fight on the ground faster than the Farah can do the damage in the sky. 
D.Va can deal with the Farah in a very big way on all platforms and managing defense matrix and we've done videos on this if you'd like to check it out will get you a victory against a Farah all the time. At high levels of matchmaking for the most part Farah only comes out as a niche pick whereas I know at the lower levels on console and on PC Farah is around all the time but on EU at least at the highest levels Farah comes out every now and then and when she does someone will put on a Widow or a Diva or both and take care of that Farah and she very quickly becomes not a problem and D.Va negating all of that damage while your team are then 5v4 is a very big deal winning the fight on the ground quicker than the Farah can do damage to you and it's definitely possible guys because the raw damage value the Farah and Mercy can output is 150 DPS maximum Tracer is nearly 500. Put that into perspective, you can see why from an organized team view, it doesn't really make any sense. But Farah does prey on that uncoordinated, slow pokey, no Lucio, no initiation play. Once you cut that out of the game and explain to your team that you can take it something like a D.Va to negate that damage, it makes a big difference. Now the next thing is going to sound silly, and you guys said it sounded silly the first time we said it, but it's 100% true. Another thing you can do is take engagements properly, and by that I mean avoid the Farah. People say, how do you just avoid the damage? Well, if you take angles that she's uncomfortably close to you in order to hit shots, Say you're playing on Li Zhang Tower and you decide to go into one of the closed corridors. Farah can't follow you in there and if she does, anyone on your team can kill her. Even a Reinhardt can swing the hammer at her. But if you let her have all of the open ground and you fight out in that open ground and not in an organized way, that's what makes her the best hero in matchmaking right now at the lower levels and on console. But if you don't go to them open areas where you can avoid it and you take a D.Va to absorb all that damage while your team win the fight on the ground is a much easier way to take out this threat. The last thing to talk about guys is is this OP? Is this a little bit too strong even though there are ways to deal with it? Well the problem is that the heroes themselves one by one side by side but not joined up are not OP. Mercy isn't OP and neither is Farah but together they create a very strong easy to play synergy. So how do you balance that? Well I'm not sure that you can without making one of them two heroes bad when they're on their own or at least nowhere near as useful as they currently are. You could reduce Farah's damage a little bit if you wanted to but at organized play she is a niche pick and will be dealt with very well in organized play so it's difficult because there's all these different levels and there's also different platforms and trying to balance them separately on each one is something that's difficult to do. I don't think currently there's too many massive differences between the heroes on both platforms if any at all but maybe they need to just move Farah's damage down a little bit or up the aim assist on Widow. I don't know what the answer is guys if you think you have them let me know in the comment section down below but I can guarantee you that trying to just balance these heroes out in that way will result in one of them being pretty bad because right now they're not massively OP it's just that synergy that you get instantly is more than a lot of the synergies you'll see at lower level matchmaking because there are definitely better synergies in the game but they're harder to pull off. I mean for example how a lot of people will counter Farah and Mercy at higher levels of play is they don't run Soldier, they don't even run Widow sometimes. They just take D.Va, Winston, Lucio, Genji, Tracer, Anna, something along them lines and dive and win the fight on the floor in on their own terms. Winning on your own terms and fighting on your own terms is the best way to get to victory in Overwatch and forcing that Farah to get into uncomfortable locations is one of the best ways to counter. And don't forget guys, D.Va can block like infinite damage for like half the game. She's amazing, massively underrated still at some levels of play at least and considered OP at the higher ones. So there's all these different metas, there's all these different things going on and I understand a lot of the frustrations but I hope that these positioning and D.Va tips can help you out because winning on the ground is a lot easier than trying to shoot her out of the sky right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and be sure to check out our Twitter and our Discord where you guys can find the mercy main of your dreams. Be sure to hit that bell icon so you guys get notified when our videos go live. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.